Hello everybody, today we're going to review a road map. This is the Delorme, Delorme Atlas Gazetteer. I think that's how you say it, Gazetteer, from California. It says here, back roads, recreational sites, uh, GPS grids, family outings, boat ramps, campgrounds, places to explore. Very exciting map. It, there, there's only one problem with it. When you open it, it kind of like, you can't really, flat doesn't really work. You kind of, so, so it's hard to maneuver. It's, so, well, we're going to fix that. We're going to put a binder right here. And we're going to do that over here. We're going to FedEx. We got it. Beautiful ring binder right here. Isn't that nice? Now what that does, it allows us to open up the book, the map book completely. So now it's not that awkwardness that it was before and it's just beautiful. Got it done at uh, Kinko's FedEx or FedEx Kinko's, whatever it is. And uh, it was only just under 12 bucks to do it. Um, not too bad. So now we can talk about this map and I'm gonna show you some pretty cool things that it does. Okay, so this is the California Delorme Atlas and Gazetteer. And this does cover things like back roads, recreational sites, GPS grids, family outings, boat ramps, campgrounds, places to explore. And it really does, and I'll, I'll explain. On the inside cover, you'll see that it has a legend. It has the different uh, uh, pictures there of the roads and such. A little bit of shot there. Roads and such, so, so it's color coordinated. So you can see what kind of roads you are, you're on. Uh, including un, uh, unimproved roads. Karatarasin, uh, oh, that's a different language, nice. Um, also trail or old railroad grade. Um, there's also uh, the interstate symbols and national boundaries and uh, military reservation boundary. That's all pretty nice. Plus with airlines and commercials and such like that. Now the second page is the same thing that's on the back cover. Allows you just to pick a spot where you are in California or where you want to go. And for example, we want to go here. We want to go to Sonora. Well, we know we got uh, page 75. We can go right to page 75. And there it is. Pretty nice. Great, great detail. It's color coded, so you can see roads just by, uh, like for example, if you're following this one, you can just, uh, very easy to find it. This is also a topographic, topographic, topo, topo map, uh, which means it's gonna show you and tell you the elevations by the lines that are drawn. The closer these lines are, uh, they look like, they follow the mountain, mountain areas and the elevations. And so it'll, the closer the lines are, that means the higher elevation, the farther apart they are, it means the lower the elevation. So it can give you a, an idea more than just looking at a picture, but kind of see uh, if there's, you know, the mountainous areas. And uh, very good. And you can see in here the different off-roads, uh, off-road trails that, that go, and um, uh, also the, the regular highways. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Now there's some things on the inside, for example, um, the index, it shows, um, for example, Pretty much every city you'd probably want, well, probably is every city in California. Uh, for example, here's Coso. Now it tells you uh, the page number and the grid. Uh, let me try Davis, for example. Davis is page 35B7. So if we go to 35B7, up here is 1 through 10, here's A through G, so B7, we follow B to the 7. So now we're just looking at that square, looking for our, our destination or the place that we're looking. Pretty nice. Now, Thomas Guide does this as well. Um, so this is a very nice thing for folks who like traditional maps. And it goes into great detail that some other maps don't do. Now, at the same time, for example, if we're at the Fall River Mills, sometimes local maps will give you a little more detail than this. This shows pretty good detail and uh, the major roads or off-roads that are there with uh, some other ones that you may not really consider anyway, but a, a local map will give a little bit more detail. But even without a local map, this is very, this is very good. 
So we'll go to the next page here and we'll show what's next. Uh, has an introduction page, talks about the recreation, travel, and then campgrounds. Campgrounds are nice because up here it says page and grid, just like uh, we showed on the other one, RV sites and tenting. So it'll tell you the uh, number of the campsite, the name of it, and its location. For example, here's Barstow, K-O-A, Daggett, and it says page 130A5, 78 RV sites. Not too bad. And it also has tenting, so it has both. It tells you it has both. There's some here, if you see here, where it only has RV sites, but no tenting. And, um, and there's probably some here that only have uh, tenting, but no RV sites. So that's pretty good. So it really tells you wherever you want to go and you can kind of plan your trip based on what you think, uh, you know, you're going to, how you're going to be camping, um, uh, the popularity of it. Outdoor adventures shows things like biking, hiking, skiing, paddling. Uh, you can pick one, for example, hiking, Agua, Tibia, Wilderness, Loop. I probably did not say that very well. Uh, again, pa the page number, uh, the grid begins along uh, FT1W03 to panoramic, uh, panoramic view of peak and follows unimproved road to FR8506 returns to dipping screen station by SR79. So it gives you pretty good detail, uh, pretty lot of, a lot of good detail there uh, about what's going on. Now those are outdoor adventures. And then there's also family outings, which is very exciting. And the reason why is because you can plan your trip with this. Uh, or maybe there's things on here you may not have thought about before. I know we Google and we do other things uh, on the computer, the internet to search things, uh, but sometimes seeing it like this uh, gives us a bigger perspective of what's available and what we can be interested or not interested in. Uh, for example, here's Monterey, Star, uh, Monterey State Historic Park, the grid number, and it talks about a description of what's there. So you can plan a trip or maybe you're going to this area anyway. Uh, and then while you're there, you can kind of see, hey, wh wh what's here? Wh what can we see? And here's another uh, recreation areas. Now this says uh, page and grid administration tells you who's running it, the acreage. This one happens to be 460,000 acres. The one below it, which is Calusa, is 67 acres. That one above was Cleveland National. Uh, forest that was pretty good uh, also biking uh, interpretive opportunities fishing hiking horseback riding off highway vehicle area maybe you want to plan a trip based on going off-road uh, if that's the case you can certainly just pick it by saying okay who offers off-road I mean there's times I've been out there and looking hey do you have any off-road trails and they look at you funny like where are you from well I'm from somewhere that like to do off-road trails well, you, this kind of can save you some of that um, uh, by just looking here and say, hey, hey, who offers that? Same thing with picnicking, picnicking, picnic, picnic, picnicking, pick, right, I think that's right. Camping, visitor center. Visitor centers are nice because it gives you a kind of a base, a base where to go, uh, where to start, answer questions. There might be some local maps there as well. And there's also one here for boating and it talks about a description here. So it gives you a pretty good description. This, for example, says Cottonwood and Willow Line Banks of Sacramento River, major uh, bird migration route of Pacific Flyway. So it gives you some good information there of things that you might want to do. And here's some more. Uh, so it's quite, quite amazing. And there's also unique natural features. It works the same way. Uh, for example, Glass Mountain, uh, Crystal Creek Falls, uh, Crystal Cave, other uh, natural features that you might want to visit and, and explore. Uh, that's pretty exciting, pretty neat. And uh, so here again, here's what the maps look like. And also a nice thing too is if, is if you're on a map here, right, and you're following a road out the, out, out the edge of the map, it says continue on page 68, we're almost 67, go to 68, okay. Sometimes you might have to go to a, a page pretty far away. For example, this is 67, but if you're going up here, it says go to page 60. So then you have to go back here to follow that same page or the continuation. And then at the back of the book, back, the back of this, 
this map book, you'll see that there is a fishing guide. Now I really like fishing and here's a fishing guide. Now this is nice because it tells you uh, the, the location, okay, plus page and grid, bass, catfish, trout, salmon, bluegill, and crappie, or crappie, or crappie. <laughs> Same as, or different as, well, anyway, something like that, crappie. Uh, and then it tells you with these dots what kind of fish you can expect. For example, Big Bear Lake, you can find all those fish. The one below it, which is, um, it's also Big Bear Lake, but a different location of Big Bear Lake, it's only trout. So you can follow this if you're a fisherman, and that can be quite helpful. And on the back of the map book, you can see the same as on the inner front cover, the whole map of the state, and you just pick a page where you want to go, just like that. It makes it real nice and easy. Well, thanks for watching, and I sure hope this review was helpful for you. And if you'd like to buy a map book like this, you can see the description below, and it would certainly help out our channel. Thanks so much, and until next time, we'll see you down the road. Well, today we're going to be re. <coughs> Hi. <coughs> thanks for watching. We sure appreciate you watching, and thanks for all you do. And la 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 la. <laughs>